What's up guys, Kino from Kino K TV here, and in this video, I want to talk about some concerns that I have for the UFC and their champions. Now the UFC title, championship, belt, has been one of the most respected titles in all of MMA, probably the most prestigious. Now, the problem that I have with it really showed in 2017 as it just got bought by these new owners and you saw a quick shift in how they wanted to promote their fights short term what am i what i mean by this is the interim titles now the interim belt used to be something really good they used to give the fans a sense of prestige to a certain fight nowadays you don't have that anymore and why is that it's because that the ufc just keeps on pumping out interim title fight after interim title fight back in the day which you know is not that long ago let's just go back six years one of the few interim title fights that I respected Carlos Condit versus Nick Diaz GSP had just torn his a ACL and would have been out for at least a year so illogically the UFC at that time said okay let's just put on an interim title fight because interim title fights rarely happened I believe only maybe two years prior we had um, Shane Carmen going up against Frank Mir for an interim title and that was because you know Brock Lesnar was dealing with diverticulitis so he was you know he was really fluctuating his, his activity was really fluctuating Brock was really ill so you know that I agreed with but fast forward 2017 maybe even late 2016 we have had Anthony Pettis versus Max Holloway for an interim title fight while Jose Aldo was an interim champion while Conor McGregor was a featherweight world champion of course I'm referring to the infamous um, UFC um, card where John Jones I mean sorry Daniel Cormier had to pull out due to an injury and where the UFC quickly shifted the Anthony Pettis versus uh, Max Holloway fight into an interim title fight and they stripped Conor McGregor of his undisputed title promoted Jose Aldo to undisputed world champion and you know what's that all about what is that all about it's just that these you know these fights are less you know get, these title fights are being seen as less important fights these days back in the day when you had a UFC title fight that was the main selling point of a pay-per-view nowadays if you don't have a title fight you know these guys are fearing that the pay-per-view might not sell you know and that's really the main source <clears throat> of, of the problem selling a pay-per-view because after DC had pulled out there was no title fight on the entire card so what did they do okay we out of panic they just slapped on um, an interim title and yeah here go go you know like it doesn't make any sense an interim title fight should happen when a world champion is unable to defend his title due to injury right and you know that didn't happen at all in 2017 then we had um, Robert Whitaker fighting Yoel Romero for the middleweight interim title fight for the interim title 
Now, two years ago, that fight would have been a title eliminator. You know, Michael Bisping, with all due respect, he just fought Dan Henderson. You know, you might agree or disagree, but he's a he's a active. He was an active and defending champion. So you so you can't say he he's you know de deserving of an interim title holder. Like it doesn't make sense. By giving the number two and uh, second fighter an interim title fight, that just diminishes the 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 world champion himself. Just at the cost of you know calling it a unification fight. What are you unifying? What belt did the interim title holder win to unify the belt with? Is the interim title holder unifying the, the the UFC belt with the Pride belt? Are they are they unifying the Bellator and the UFC belt? No, they're not. It's the same belt. What are you guys unifying? I really don't get it. And why I'm you know bringing up unification is because this is what they they all try to sell. Um, Saran and Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor after he had just beat Alvarez and you know probably the best heavyweight. Um, no wait, the best title performance, probably apart from Anderson Silva beating Rich Franklin, you know, uh, performances, only two months later, they have Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Tony Ferguson for an interim title. Why? Why? I, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Connor didn't say, oh, I'm... I'm, I'm probably going to take off one year. I just tore my uh, both my ACLs. No. He said, I'm, I'm going to have a baby. I'm just going to take off a couple months. Then I'll be back. He said like he, he'll probably take maybe two to six months. Okay, he did. He came back in August and fought Floyd Mayweather in one of the biggest fights ever. You know? And in the meanwhile... Tony and Khabib still did not fight. So who, so who is the real challenger, Khabib or Tony? Now, where the UFC really failed is when they put Tony Ferguson versus Kevin Lee for an interim title. Why? Why would they book that? Tony Ferguson is number, at the time, number one ranked, and Kevin Lee was number eight ranked. So how can the number one fighter fight the number eight fighter, one, two, for a UFC belt, nonetheless? I'll tell you why. They're just trying to promote and get as much money out of uh, any fight with Conor McGregor surrounding a belt, right? So Tony goes in there, you know, has a really tough fight with Kevin Lee, really good fight. And he wins the interim title now. After Conor McGregor fought Floyd Mayweather, Tony was holding on to that belt and this and that, right? But Tony still had not fight, fought Khabib. So we had to know who the real challenger was. So in that case, first time ever, an interim title was going to be defended. So you, you're going to put your company in a real position, one, which did not, you know, how can you defend an interim title when the, when the world champion is active? All you have to do is, you know, just, you know, make Khabib and Tony fight and, wh and whoever wins is going to fight Conor. I don't get why they are making such a big drama out of it. They brought him, you know, they brought it all to themselves. You know, Connor's not Connor's not the one to be blamed. It's the UFC. So they're planning, you know, to to strip Connor from his belts, and I hope they do. Honestly, just strip Connor from from the belt, take the belt off him, and make Khabib and Tony fight for the real title, as of the, as of the people are gonna buy it. The only people that, honest to God, honest genuine people will know this. That just wasn't just something to sell a fight with. <clears throat> then we had John Jones going up against OSP for an interim title. Why? I mean, 
mean? When Jose Aldo was the reigning defending champion, when he was a king, at the uh, one one uh, one fifty one one forty five, he went on to not defend his title for thirteen months, one year, and there was not even a sniff of an interim title. Nobody was talking about it. But you know, this year everything, last year everything changed. You know. You know, I just have a massive issue with the with the interim titles. It's really it's really annoying me, and it needs to stop. Honestly, if the UFC is trying to sell pay per views, stop depending or trying to uh, cause an illusion by putting a title on it. You know, and trying to trick the fans into thinking, oh, it's a big fight, important fight. And on honestly. All the interim title fights that happened last year, four years ago, would have been a title eliminator. That's all I have to say. What do you guys think? Does the UFC need to stop with all of these interim belts? Leave what you guys think in the comment section down below. It has been Kini from Kini KTV, and I will probably upload my predictions for UFC 220 after this one. If not, it'll be up tomorrow. So, Kenny from Kenny KTV, signing off. Later.